All right, Coach, introduce yourself when we get started. Sure. Mark Schlesinger, the head basketball coach at the University of Missouri. Practice, freshman coming in, are they adjusting well? Yeah, they're doing well. We've, we've had a really good group. We've got four uh, new guys in, three freshmen in, the junior college transfer. They've done phenomenally well. They had a really good summer, uh, really adjusted, uh, picked up the scheme. They've done a tremendous job in the weight room. We've really gotten a lot stronger uh, along with the rest of the team, but I'm excited about what we've added uh, to our team to make us better. Talk about the guys that are returning and our lead, their experience, what that's having an effect on the, on the squad. Sure. We've got a really, really talented senior class. Uh, you know, we've got guys that can really, really shoot the ball. Uh, on the perimeter for the first time in their tenure there. Uh, Ezekiel Charles led the league in three-point field goal percentage. George Rosa uh, will be right there with him as well as the fifth-year senior. Um, Bryson Robinson is a sophomore, a junior. Uh, it's a really, really talented uh, shooter score. Uh, Scott Playson will be our anchor inside uh, as a fifth-year senior. Really talented. Uh, can really score in the block. Non-conference schedule. How did you put it together, and yeah. what was it? Well, we're really proud that you know we, we've been in the uh, top five, uh, three of the last five years of non-conference strength of schedule. We're going to go out and play people. Uh, we want to challenge our guys. I think it's how you prepare for the postseason for the conference tournament, and make an NCAA tournament, and, and moving forward with the game. So going on the road to Baylor, going on the road uh, to Pitt, to Northwestern, uh, Tulsa, Alabama, Birmingham. I think those are all uh, tests that will really push our team. It's an 18 game conference grind every night. Right. Eight teams are trying to get to Katie. Right. That process, just talk about it. Well, it's, it's one that we've been really lucky. Uh, obviously, winning the league two years ago uh, was big, and then winning the conference tournament as well, and representing the, the league in the NCAA tournament two years ago was big. But then uh, being able to push and, and being first for most of uh, each of the last two years has been a great accomplishment for our team and our program. Uh, but you got to start fast. you got to get out the gates quick. Uh, we got a really, really tough opening run. Uh, having to go to Abilene, who I think is the most talented team in the league. I think they're, they're really, really good. they got a veteran group back, uh, extremely well coached, and having to get at Houston Baptist at home. Coach Cottrell is phenomenal. they got you know maybe the best big in our league. Any bar inside, uh, it was just a mountain of a man that they have to deal with. So it'll be tough for us to get off to a good start, but it's something that we're going to have to do to be able to have a chance to win the league. Is this league now starting to become a um, big man league, a guard league, or a combination of both? No, I think it cycles. I think it goes through cycles. This is my 19th year in this league, and I think it goes through cycles. And I think we've got some really talented forwards in this league right now that are very good, uh, that, that are going to go play uh, at a high level professionally. Uh, but yet, you know, in other years, we've had incredible goals. So I think it just cycles through a little bit based on the three. Talk about Campbell's life. Uh, I, mean, we, I mean, we live in, you know, the most dynamic, unique city in the world. Yes, you do. And so, uh, you know, we've got six colleges and universities within, you know, five miles of each other, five, six miles of each other. So the guys got a very, very rich uh, student-athlete experience, uh, not just with the city and culturally, but then, you know, our campus culture at UNO, but then also being able to um, go across the street to Suno or a mile and a half, two miles down the road to Dillard or to Xavier or Tulane or Loyola. So uh, Delgado, so we've got a lot of opportunities for guys to have uh, a really unique uh, student-athlete experience that they can't get anywhere else in the world. With that, Coach, reintroduce yourself. We'll close this out. Mark Slice, the head coach of the University of New Orleans. This is Jerry Lee Willard, Jr., the College Sports Report here in Houston, Texas at the Southland Conference Basketball Media Day.